So one of the main questions that we get here at Speedflight is how do I hook up my air compressor or air source to the Speedflight system? Now, it's important to note that on all of the Speedflight systems, we use a universal industrial, or sometimes it's called M or Milton style connection. This is pretty much the industry standard and you'll find this type of connection on ARB compressors, power tank systems, stuff like that. It's sort of the gold standard when it comes to air fittings. Say that you have uh, something like a Smitty built or maybe a Vi air compressor. When the hose of your air compressor comes with this, which is just to go straight to your tire, do one tire at a time, obviously this isn't gonna work. So the first adapter that we offer is just a standard Schrader valve adapter. And this simply plugs into your speed flight manifold like so and allows you to connect your hose. It's as simple as that. This is gonna be the easiest solution for most people. However, there is one slight drawback to consider when you pick the Schrader valve adapter. And that would be, if you look here, you'll see how small the opening is inside the Schrader valve. It's very small. So now what that means for you guys is this is the easiest way, but it's gonna limit your airflow by a bit. So your air up times are gonna just be a little longer because you're sort of restricting the airflow through the compressor. So if you're looking for peace of mind and you don't wanna cut your hose, this is the way to go. Just keep in mind, it's gonna take you just a little bit longer to air up. Now, as you guys can see here with this compressor, it's already been converted to accept the industrial fitting of the speed flight. And now how we do that is simple. This is our hose barb adapter. All you do to install this is cut your hose. So you're gonna cut this guy off and you're gonna shove the hose barb in there and tighten it down with the hose clamp. Having this on the end of your compressor versus this not only allows you to use the speed flight system, but it also allows you to do things like run air tools or a blow gun. It just makes your compressor a little more standard. Now the third adapter that we have is totally different. This is a 100 PSI pressure regulator. Now, most of you guys aren't gonna need this for standard use. At some off-road parks, they have air up stations where you can air back up. Sometimes that air pressure isn't regulated. Make sure that you stay at a safe 100 PSI. This just attaches and that'll regulate your pressure. So for unregulated sources, or let's say you have a CO2 bottle that doesn't have a regulator, this is gonna be very handy because this is gonna regulate you to 100 PSI. I hope this video helped you guys maybe decide what accessories you need to pick with your speed flight. We got a couple options out there, just sort of explain the pros and cons of each setup. They're all pretty affordable and they'll all be listed on the website. We'll have a link in the description below for that. If you guys are new to speed flight and you wanna know a little bit more about the system, Check out this video here. This is KC250. It takes you guys through the pros, cons, time, setup, everything. Everything you need to know about Speedflight. You can check that out right here.